Hey, what's up? It's Jesse here, and I am here to discuss a little thing that's going on in the industry with eXp Realty. You know, how has eXp been able to capture 86,000 agents in a few short years? It's pretty wild to see the explos explosive growth. You know, there are some competitors out there that have been around just as long that are seeing 10x less growth. So why are people really drawn to eXp? And eXp has actually in 2021, gave the agents back over $150 million. Yes, that's right, $150 million. And I'm going to talk about how eXp is really separating themselves from the rest of the herd. And where is eXp going in the future? Because you might be researching eXp and you're like, is eXp done growing? You know, maybe you're interested in earning revenue share or agent attraction. And you think that it's tapped out. You know, this is something that I hear on a consistent basis. And this is a smoke screen that the competitors give agents in order to try to recruit them to other companies. You know, one of my biggest um, thoughts are, you know, you hear of some of our competitors say at, you know, 10,000 agents and they say their goal is 100. Well, that's a 90,000 agent growth. Well, you think about eXp currently today at 86,000 agents and in the US, it's a little over 70. And their goal in the US is to be at 250,000 agents. So I, I think about that opportunity. There's over, you know, almost a 200,000 agent opportunity here where the next competitor's opportunity is about 90,000 agents. So your opportunity, if you are looking to earn revenue share, not only from an agent attraction standpoint, but also, you know, a financial standpoint, because EXP's revenue share is the best in the business. You know, there's no other revenue share model that even compares to EXP Realty. There's also no other training organization that compares to eXp Realty. There's no other collaboration and support that compares to eXp Realty. And these are just a few examples of how eXp is actually separating itself from the pack. So if you want to hear exactly how they are really doing it and what's driving that growth, stay tuned. Hey, what's up, everyone? This is your host, Jesse Dow, coming to you with another episode of the Cloud-Based Brokerage. And if you want to know everything from revenue share to real estate right here at eXp Realty, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications so you're notified each and every time I drop a new video. And honestly, I'm getting so many calls from team leads, real estate agents, brokerage owners, and influencers want to talk about eXp, and I absolutely love it. So if you want to get a hold of me, you got to give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email, or even schedule that Zoom down in the description below. How do you want to get hold of me? I got your back. We're making a move to eXp Realty. And the million dollar question I get all the time is how many people actually call you? And I'll tell you right now at eXp, through my YouTube channel, I have personally brought on over a hundred agents at eXp. And through my 100 agents of bringing on, my organization has grown to over 500 in a couple of brief years, which I am super excited about. And I see that number growing further into the future. And you know my revenue share which you'll see the disclaimer right now pop up on the screen or down in the description because eXp is very strict about this. But my revenue share in 2022 was almost as much as my real estate business generated. And I generated almost a hundred, a little over a hundred million dollars in sales. And I'm telling you right now, it's freaking a life-changing situation. And I never would have been put in this position if, I, if it wouldn't have been for eXp Realty. I never believed it. I never believed in it. And I'm going to tell you right now, it's a lot different than I've ever experienced. So how is eXp separating itself from the pack? Well, first of all, you have to understand what eXp is and what the traditional real estate brokerage model is. So eXp is, was one of the first ever real estate brokerages to go global, even international, under one umbrella. And what I mean by that is the traditional real estate brokerage model was changed when Gary Keller and, well, not even Gary Keller, when Remax came around and uh, thought of the franchise model. What they did is they said that they want to create franchise models where they, you know, add all this overhead support and then you pay into a franchise fee. And it's basically like they give you a template that you get to use and have all these resources. Well, what agents have realized and what franchise owners have realized over time is typically agents start becoming successful. They start wanting to do their own thing and they leave. So what this has really done is it's really suppressed the industry and it's compressed it down. And it really puts people at bay because you have to think about it. If you're a business owner and you're running 1099 agents, and the only way you're making money is by them selling real estate, when they surpass your level of expectations, they are out the door. That's just the facts. This isn't like owning a, a grocery store where you hire employees 
they stock the shelves, they sell products. And if that person becomes a better shelf stalker and they want to go work for a company to make more money, you're still selling products, whether that person is there or not. That is the biggest difference in the industry is EXP figured out if they can get all the agents focused on helping each other grow, we can create a lot more of powerful energy. And once energy starts moving in forward momentum, it's unstoppable. Energy just changes forms and shapes. And it's very, very hard to start once it stops. So let me explain to you really quick how the traditional model is set up. So people always say EXP is a pyramid scheme. Well, I'm going to tell you right now that the biggest pyramid scheme, if you want to say that EXP is a pyramid scheme, is the traditional franchise model is a way bigger pyramid scheme. I know. I came from the franchise world, and I freaking hated it. I hated every minute of it. It was so interesting to see the shift. And, and I was in the same mindset going to EXP. I was like, EXP is a pyramid scheme. All I care about is recruiting. Guess what? The other side of the table cares way more about recruiting. They just don't speak about it because there's no incentive for the agents to be recruiting, right? So this is how the traditional model works and how EXP has separated itself. The traditional model is set up in a five-tiered system. Now, let me explain. You have the owner at the top tier. So this is, the, this is like Gary Keller and the Keller Williams universe. Then you have the international owners. And I'm just using Keller Williams as an example. It's one that most people understand. So then you have the US model. That's another layer in there. And then you have inside of the US, you have multiple regionals. So you'll hear someone say, I own a region. At EXP, one of the top recruiters in the entire country, or what I should say, recruiters, agent, attractors, same thing, but biggest organization with almost 20,000 agents in their organization. And those guys are making, in some months, almost seven figures a month in agent, a revenue share, which is wild to me. But anyways, that is a regional. They own a bunch of states or locations in one region that those franchise owners, and then there's the independent franchises. So then each location, if you look inside of your own city, there's probably multiple Keller Williams if you're in a big city. All of those franchise owners are probably different. There might be one that owns a couple centers, but then they roll up into the regionals. The regionals roll up into the international. The international rolls up into the, the owner. And then at the very bottom, you have employees and agents. So when profit sharing happens in the Keller Williams model, what you have is all the profits are going to all those individual layers and whatever's left goes down to the agents, Right. That's profit sharing. When I was at Keller Williams, my office had this chart on the wall and they're like, we've given $30,000 year to date. And this is in October, November, back to the agents. And I'm like, I thought it was a charity, to be honest with you. At eXp Realty, I've had months in my revenue share that's over 30,000 a month, which is freaking great. It's, it's wild to me. It is absolutely wild to me about how Keller Williams sets, promises and, and promotes this massive profit sharing model is the end all be all. I've come from multiple businesses with profit sharing and some, and a lot of times it's zero. Sometimes it's good, but it really rewards and incentivizes the top agents for agent attraction, which is typically the team leads. This is why Keller has his top 100 panel, right? And advisors and things like that. And as you can see, the top agents in that company are not staying in that model. They're typically leaving the EXP. And a lot of them even do a secondary things like coaching or running marketing companies, things like that, or starting their own companies on the side. I mean, look at Ben Kinney. Uh, one of the top Keller Williams leaders of all time and starts place, brevity, things like that. So obviously if that model isn't the greatest, why are they doing it, right? So, and then you say, okay, well, if, if it's, uh, if EXP is a better opportunity, why didn't they go there? Well, here's the thing is a lot of people have this stigma in their mind that if they align themselves with one brokerage, then they're going to be exiling the, the rest. I can tell right now inside of EXP, there's agents that have big, big companies outside of EXP and they really keep quiet about EXP, which you know, that's their own prerogative, but I think that's a fear-based mindset. And it's, uh, it's just a self-limiting belief that a lot of people have. I run a big marketing agency outside of the eXp Realty, and it doesn't bear any weight onto my um, eXp business whatsoever and vice versa. So anyways, what eXp has done is they've eliminated the international level, they've eliminated the regional level, and they've eliminated the market center model. So there's none of those. All you have is one parent company, one not global owner and CEO, and then you have the agents and the employees. So you literally have two levels. So what happens is every agent pays into the cap at eXp. And instead of that money, the profit trickling back down to the layers, it's the revenue, not the profit, the revenue. 50% of the revenue goes back to the agents in the form of revenue share. That is the difference in how eXp is separating themselves. So what happens it, right now today, and, and the numbers may change in the future, but in 2021, they gave over $157 million back to the agents. And over the course of history, 
since EXP has been in existence doing revenue share, they've given that back over $300 million in revenue share. It is freaking wild. And here's the crazy part. Only 12% of the agents are even earning revenue share because it, that's, and so when people say EXP is this recruiting company, well, if there's a recruiting company, not, we would have a lot more than 12 agents taking revenue share because uh, that means 88% of the agents actually believe that the brokerage is the, is the best brokerage on the planet. This is why EXP is the number one real estate brokerage in the United States. But here's the thing, and this is the thing no one talks about either. EXP, if they give back 12% of the revenue share to the agents, where you're like, well, if only 12% are earning revenue share and they're giving back 50%, obviously there's a, the numbers have to change, right? Every month. And so what EXP does is there's a recalculation every single month. So every month that I've been at EXP, I've gotten in an additional bonus because when only 12% of the agents are making revenue share and they're giving back 50% and the way the revenue share numbers are structured, it's impossible unless every single agent was taking revenue share for the numbers that to all balance out to exactly 50%. So there's always this surplus of money left over. And what they do is they just distribute it out to the agents earning revenue share. So it's freaking crazy. It's like bonus on top of bonus. And they also give revenue share back on all their affiliate companies as well. This is just one layer of why how EXP is separating itself and probably like one of the most powerful ways. The other way is you earn stock multiple different ways. You Whether you want to earn stock or not, they're going to give it to you if you're an agent that sells homes. Because every year you sell your first home, you get stock. When you cap regularly, just hitting your cap, that's about $80,000 in uh, commission, paying an 80-20 split, they give you back a stock. Now, when you cap and do uh, pay an additional $5,000 in transactional fees, because once you cap, you go into a transactional fee, straight transactional fee of 150 bucks. When you uh, pay $5,000 back in the transactional fee, they give you become what they call an icon agent. That is when you can earn up to eight sixteen thousand dollars in stock. So if you apply to Icon, they accept you eight thousand dollars in stock right then, and then you have to earn the remaining eight thousand dollars back, which I've done year over year. Pretty easy, right? You can also earn stock when you attract an agent and that recruit sells their first home. And the last piece of this puzzle with stock is you can purchase stock, an employee purchase program of five percent of your commissions can get stock at a 10% discounted price. So essentially, you have a stock option program as an agent. So there is multiple layers. So you have your typical commission-based earnings. Then you have agent attraction slash revenue share. And then the third is you have stock. So EXP has added all these additional layers for you to earn additional income, right? I think it's a great opportunity. And it's the EXP is the first brokerage in the world that is actually giving the agents an exit strategy if they want to take it. The third way EXP is separating itself is its collaboration and support. And what I mean by that is EXP is a growth company. They add age, uh, support count based on agent count. So as the state grows and expands and as the company grows and expands, they add layers of support. So every state has a designated managing broker and agents ask me all the time, is like, is EXP in my market in this state? And the answer is yes, EXP is in your market and in the state because what they do is they have one managing broker for the entire state. And you're like, well, how does that happen? Well, it's just like since EXP is not a franchise and if you're at a franchise model, the franchise has to have a managing broker for that location. Since EXP is one owner, they just have to have one per state. And then underneath that managing broker, they have layers of uh, managing brokers based on the agent count. So the more agents, the more manage, uh, managing brokers. Then they also have their own supports. And underneath that umbrella. So they have contract compliance on one side and then they have accounts payable on the other. So you make sure that if you have contract questions, you get your contract questions answered. If you're, if you're needing your demands and things like that, you, you have those questions answered. And then agents are like, well, how do I get paid? EXP pays faster than anybody on the planet. This is another game changer. A lot of times you will get your money in your deposit before EXP gets the check from the title company because EXP can do a direct deposits. And as long as they have that check number and a picture of it, bada bing bada boom and all your uh, information is uploaded in the sky slope you get paid i'm telling you this is a freaking game changer exp is separating itself and there's other companies out there like we'll have your check in your account faster than anybody i'm telling you right now that is that is nothing new exp has set the path forward for this exact model this is the thing that you'll notice exp sets the path forward for everyone they are like the amazon and the google of the real estate industry and the reason why and how EXP can do it is because Glenn Sanford, the CEO, is still majority shareholder. That is the most powerful thing. That's You see these other companies that are popping up? 
they're not the own the CEOs are not real estate agent ran brokerages. They're invest investor ran brokerages. Think of Compass. Robert Refkin, the CEO of Compass, was a Goldman Sachs exec until 2012. Then he gets into the real estate business and IPOs in 2021. Now that company has mass lost massive valuation. They have not been able to turn the real estate industry upside down with their quote unquote technology. And the reason why is because it's it doesn't need to be done. All they're doing is taking old technology and making it shiny and new. I know lots of agents from Compass and they all say the exact same thing. Compass did do one thing right though, is they did create just one company, just like EXP did. Unfortunately, they have the brick and mortars uh, market centers all over the country. And that's really what's weighing them down. That's a massive overhead cost. And that's another way that EXP is separating themselves is they've eliminated all the brick and mortars. If you need a brick and mortar office, they give you a Regis pass, which you can use Regis at any day and time. You just apply when you get on to EXP. They give you your Regis pass and you can use any center. You can also use title companies, uh, offices, or your lender. But here's the thing. I, I Before I was even at EXP, I was always doing everything by Zoom. This just gave me faster access and faster ways to get information, training, and technology because inside of EXP world, which a lot of people are like, oh, this is Sims world. They try to downplay it. I'm going to tell you right now, the universe is moving to this inside of Meta. EXP was just there before all of them. And this is what happens. As soon as people go through EXP world, like the light bulbs start going off and they're like, this is a freaking game changer. Because now instead of me driving down to my brokerage office, we all get into one room where we're all staring at each other and there's a title company there trying to serve some lunch. Guess what? We just all go into the room inside of EXP world from the comfort of our own homes. And guess what? We get to sit there and uh, collaborate, learn and listen. And multiple organizations at EXP Realty host daily events outside of EXP. So there's so much collaboration going on. People ask me all the time, what is the biggest difference about EXP and every other brokerage you've worked at? And the answer is very clear and simple. The biggest difference is, is that EXP, because we're, we are all connected in a virtual environment, is people aren't over here gossiping. People are not out here talking about negative things. We are always in a very, very positive growth thinking mindset. But I will tell you that it's not always rainbows and unicorns because EXP is not built for everyone. There's a lot of people that come into EXP thinking it's going to be this magical environment where they've, they've made everything easy and they, they don't even have to try. And that's not the thing. EXP has just created a platform that makes everything easier and has given you a platform to get you from A to B faster and multiple different opportunities to make that happen. You still have to put in hard work. You still have to build your own business. You still have to be a leader. And I'm telling you right now, it has been the most incredible experience of my life. And I've known lots of agents to, to do the exact same thing. I've also known a lot of agents to quit and leave. Here's the reality in the facts. Real estate has an 87% failure rate. So realistically, only 13 out of 100 agents are going to be successful anyways. However, I believe that the person, you, is the person that makes that decision whether you're going to be successful or not. Because if you come to EXP thinking that you don't need mentorship, you don't need personal coaching and things like that, that is the wrong thing. EXP just gives those opportunities to us in a bigger scale. And there is free daily trainings inside of EXP. But I'm going to tell you right now that I teach a class inside of there. And am I, am I able to give away every single bit of information I know in 60 minutes? Absolutely not. I teach eight classes a year inside of EXP world. And I give everything I can in that 60 minutes. But when you built the business 100% out of YouTube, you, it's impossible to do it in 60 minutes. So yes, you get bits and pieces and they do have learning tracks for brand new agents, which is the fast start series. And they do have the learning tracks for seasoned agents. So it gives a good foundation. It gives a good platform. They have all the trainings right there. But if you're going to really elevate yourself to the next level, you're going to have to align yourself with the right people. And you're probably going to have to hire some pretty intense, robust coaching. But if you want to have those conversations about how to make that happen, there's only one thing you got to do. Reach out, give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email, even schedule that Zoom down in the description below and we can have that conversation. And until next time, we'll catch you later.